Hey guys, welcome back to my world. No matter how old you get, you never need to grow up, but you might need to wear a sweater because it's chilly out. So shout out to anybody who is watching this down in Texas or any of the states that have just been devastated by unprecedented cold. My heart goes out to you. It's just, it's just absolutely just heartbreaking to see what's happening. Um, you know, we just, we just all need to take better care of our planet, and um, yeah, we need to do that. So uh, anyway, um, yeah, that was a very downer way to start, but you know what? People are suffering, and I don't want to not acknowledge that, and I don't want to, I just want us all to take a moment and send some love, uh, and you're like, yeah, hope and prayers doesn't do anything. Well, you know what? Money and relief does actually physically help, but hope and prayers and good vibes also really, really matter. So anyway. I went shopping. So you remember like a couple of weeks ago, I was introduced to Ruby Red Fashion Dolls, thanks to the very nice people at Ruby Red Fashion Dolls. And uh, then uh, after I did my videos, I went on their website and I ordered all of the dolls that I could. Now, so today we are going to look at two of them. I need to put, take my glasses off like I can see. By the way, I'm wearing the false eyelashes again. I'm very, I'm very like, I'm very into these new false eyelashes that I found. So, um, this is, this cutie right here is, um, so these are 14 inch fashion dolls. Uh, they're posable. Their, their, their clothes are incredible. Like that's, I think like the dolls are beautiful. Uh, correcting myself from my previous, um, video, they are, there are different facial molds. Uh, they don't all have the same facial mold. It's the same style, but they're not exactly all the same. So but I'm horrible with facial molds, so I'm not even gonna try and tell you which ones have different facial molds. So, and then they all have a theme. So this is Always Be Kind Maya. And see, so here's the, get out of the way. You don't need you for the big dolls. Um, so this is what they all look like. So this is Always Be Kind Maya. And of course her shirt says Always Be Kind. We're gonna take her out of the box and look at her. And then this one, this one, She is such a rock and roller. Oh my gosh. And her face. Like, wait till you see her face. I mean, she could not be more Irish looking. She's adorable. And she is rock star Stella. Like, like she's like, just be a rock star is, that's my mantra. It's like, always be kind. <laughs> Let your light shine. Stella's like, rock on. So um, I'm going to get them out of their boxes and we're going to take a closer look. Now, I need to let you know, these dolls are kind of expensive. Um, they're $129.99. Um, so they are higher end fashion dolls. They are kind of ball jointed. We'll talk about that. And, um, I found out like, thanks to all of you that this company Ruby red toys actually makes some really expensive, really awesome ball jointed dolls. And I'm just really trying really hard not to go down that road. Um, because that is a really expensive road and, 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 and it's just, it's, I don't, it's like, I have to learn stuff and yeah, I'm just not as good at that as I used to be. You've seen me review very simple things and I'm like, I don't know what this is. Um, so <laughs> anyway, I can handle these guys. So I'm going to get them out of the box and we're going to take a closer look and you're going to fall in love and then you're all going to be mad at me because you're going to go broke. I spent almost $600 because I bought four dolls and then there was shipping and tax. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, and our ruby red fashion dolls are out of the box. I'm chilly. <laughs> so I'm gonna wrap this around me. By the way, I found my green glasses that match my green sweater and now I'm just feeling very cute, actually. So first we're gonna take a look at Maya. Here she is. Oh my gosh! So, uh, always be kind Maya. Oh, she believes in magical moments with big splashes of sparkles and glitter. My girl. Lots and lots of glitter. You can never have enough glitter. Um, Maya is authentic and kind. She is always on top of the latest trends and most of the time starts her own. Good girl. After she and her friends graduate, she wants to host a fashion blog. Let's change that to vlog. And be a huge influencer that reflects her style and individuality. Uh, Maya features brown curly hairstyle with highlights and light brown eyes. She comes with her always be kind t-shirt along with a furry pink jacket and paper bag skirt. Oh, I didn't know that's what that was called. Leggings and the latest flower sneakers. 
Okay, so this is Maya and she's adorable. Adorable, adorable, adorable. So let's start with the hair because I love that we've got this like really nice, pretty textured hair, but we've got highlights. Like we so rarely see that done and done well and it just feels really good. Like, you know, I wouldn't be running a brush through this, take care of it as you would any doll uh, with textured hair, but whoa, this is such pretty hair. Her face, now all of their faces are adorable. I just did like a whole fashion shoot here in the studio. Look at the eyes, oh. And the subtle blush on the cheeks. And of course they have rooted eyelashes, which is everything to me. Just their faces, like, uh, just their faces. But then we get adorable fashions. So always be kind. Look at this, and I cannot tell you how soft this jacket is. Like, I want this jacket in my size. I am very into soft, snuggly, like this is like, you know, a fake polyester chenille Target, but super soft sweater. Like, I'm all about the soft sweaters when it gets cold out. Um, and then I want to, um, let's see if we can take this off so I can show everybody. Look how pretty. I did not know that this style of denim skirt is called a paper bag skirt, but it is. See, look, look at this. We've got the elastic waistline. Look at the stitching. Like it's got all of the yellow stitching that you would see on a denim skirt. We've got functional pockets over here. So you could put something in her pocket. Oh my gosh. I want to see what, um, oh, because I just, I got some more mini brands. I wonder what like, cause these are 14 inches. So they're like more like Welly Wister size. I'm wondering how mini brands will look with them. Um, and then I need to figure out what kind of furniture works with them. And then um, I will go broke. I have nowhere to put anything. Like I bought new shelves mm, around Christmas time for the studio. They're full. They're full. And I put away like a ton of, like I, ha I did like a refresh of my doll collection because I, I don't have enough room in my house. So I have to like, so I have like six, six, six or seven bins, big bins filled with dolls. Um, and so those are going into storage. And then I took stuff out of storage. But then in the meantime, do you realize how many dolls I've bought? Like you watch my, my channel, like I keep all that stuff. <laughs> Where am I going with all this? Like we, we just cleaned out the studio and it is packed again. My shelves are full, I don't know what to do. And then I found these, right? So then now what I have like nine of these. <laughs> all right, so I just wanna show you the jointing. So they are, there's an elastic in there. So they're super poseable. Their hands are not jointed. They're the plastic is like, it looks like porcelain. So they're really, really pretty. She's got, um, do you have, yeah. She's got like an orangey kind of uh, mani going on. Then she's got these really cute leggings, which are not just a plain legging. They've got like a lace pattern um, screened onto them. And then I didn't take the tissue off of her ankles. I didn't take the tissue off of her legs, which is protecting her from her leggings. I'm horrible. I'm a bad doll reviewer. Oh no, I just, I just, I just, un <gasps> I just untied her shoelace and I don't think I have the manual dexterity to retie her shoelace. I know I don't. I know I don't. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to bring in somebody to do this for me. There is no way this is gonna happen. See video on multiple sclerosis. Okay. Um, Oh no, I didn't take off her tissue paper. Okay, let me just do that. I feel bad. Oh, bad doll reviewer. I thought I got all the tissue. But it's amazing because they protect the doll. Um, you know, like, so what do you get for $129 that you don't get for like, you know, $29, Melissa? Well, you get things like all of the areas where there's any gonna be any elastic bands um, that might like mark the, uh, mark the plastic in any way are covered in tissue to protect from any scratching or marking. Um, you know, there's a lot of care that goes into a doll. That, and, and just the, the fashions and the patterns and the quality of hair, the quality of the fabrics, like everything is just, it's just, I mean, these are collector's dolls. Um, so I would give these to older kids. Um, 
parents. Look at the shoes. This is the one I untied by accident. Someone's gonna look at these sneakers. I want these sneakers because they've got this kind of like espadrille kind of thing going on around here. And this this really cute floral pattern with the black laces and the black edging. How cute are those? They have really cute shoes. I gotta say, they have really cute shoes. Let me put your really cute jacket on again, cause it is, and look, I mean like the jacket is like lined and like, ah, uh, I just wanna like sleep in this jacket. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, oh, I love you. <laughs> I love you, Maya. Oh my gosh. And then there's the other one is, um, to the next when I do the next video her skirt has just got me like oh my gosh I need her skirt so let me just get Maya back in her in her coat here so she can be warm because it is chilly 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 in the studio I don't have heat in the studio so I just have like a space heater that I put on sort of sometimes I put it on while I'm filming I just you know can't cannot handle it and then you guys have to hear a but and that's life. All right. So I'm going to need to zhuzh that because she couldn't hold her sleeves because now the other really cool thing is that they do stand on their own once you get them balanced properly. And if you're a doll photographer, I just need you to see the range of motion. I mean, ta-da! Um, I mean, these are just so much fun to photograph and because you can pose them and they stand up and you can tilt their heads and all different kinds of ways and they're so cute. So Maya's gonna go take a seat over here next to me and how cute she is. Look at her. Okay, you sit down over here. She's just sitting on a piece of plexiglass right now. Um, not the most comfortable thing. And we are going to take a look at Stella. All right. So I love redheads, you know, obviously, and God bless me with one um, as a child, not as a, well, as a doll too. So she, this is like one of the few times in life that I'm like, okay, with the hat on a doll. <laughs> like that never happens. So rock star Stella believes in entertaining her friends and family through her electric personality and wicked sense of humor. Sounds like my kind of girl. She loves making people laugh out loud. Oh yeah, she believes she is meant to be a star and wants to use her imagination and creativity to bring her own style of music to the world. Hmm, okay, that sounds like a good idea. When she and her friends graduate, she wants to enter a reality singing contest because she knows it's her destiny to win. Yes, rock on Stella. Oh yeah, so this is Stella. Her hair, so this is her cute little hat. Let's show them, what are you doing? Just, this is her cute little hat. Like, look at the little pom-poms. Look at the little pom-poms. And I want you to see that it's lined. It's lined and it's like um, a felty flannelly kind of hat. And it sits perfectly on her head and it's adorable, but we're gonna take it off so we can show you her hair. Her hair. I mean, the hair on these dolls is amazing. Do you see? the varying shades. This isn't just a block of red hair. This is a beautiful strawberry blonde red. I love this. This, I always wanted to have hair this color. Um, oh, wow. She's so oh, more than there. And then her face. Okay. Look at the face. Does this face say like, welcome to Scotland or welcome to Ireland? I mean, look at her. Look at those rosy cheeks. And then her eyes, are your, are your eyes gray? I think her eyes are gray. Let's see what color her eyes are. Um, Stella features long hair, green eyes. Heck yeah. She's got like a greeny gray. Here we go. There you go. Her eyes are not quite the same green as mine, but they're cute. Oh, look at this little face. Don't you just want to just pinch the cheeky cheekies? Don't pinch my cheeks. Okay, I won't. Oh, she's so cute. And then this sweater, I swear, this sweater feels exactly like the sweater I'm wearing. And it's got the stars on it. Look at how sweet that is. And then her, she's wearing a tank top. Rock star. Oh my gosh. So cool. Oh, wow, let me take off your, I wanna take off your sweater so I can show everybody the sweater, the quality of the sweater, and then we can take a look at your jointing. She is super fair skinned. Um, so in, in, in one of those rare moments in life, she's actually more porcelain than I am. It's, it's, it's often very hard to find people who are, 
who are whiter than I am, but she is. Um, and so she really see how this plastic mimics um, porcelain really beautifully. Red nails, of course. And there's her jointed arms. And then her rock, rock star. Look at the jeans. She's got these really cute embroidered jeans. I want you to see all the detail. Pockets, yes. This is embroidered, okay? Look at how cute this is. Whoops! And then, like, we've got these little, like, flares right here in the jeans. I love the embroidery. And then she's got these super cool, and this isn't just silver glitter. Do you see that? This is multi-color glitter. These are so rock and roll. I love these. I love, love, love these. And you know, one of the things that I love about these dolls is that these are, these are like little girls. These are younger girls. So, you know, I would say that, you know, maybe she's like anywhere, you know, kind of like a tween, 10, 11, 12. They're, they're somewhere in there. Um, and so they've got this kind of, um, they've got their style. They've got, um, but they've still got this innocence and they don't have a lot of makeup, but they don't have any makeup on. And um, I mean, I love makeup, but I also love embracing the beauty of, of a child's face and that freshness and that, um, there's just something so, there's just something so hopeful about their faces. And I think, um, I think that just really sings to me right now. Now here's her sweater. Look at how cute that is. And then look, I mean, this is a, I mean, it's machine crocheted, but this is, this is like, this is some stuff right here. And this feels exactly like the sweater I'm wearing. It feels like it's so weird. It's like the exact same sweater. Are you cold? I'm cold, but I look so rock and roll. I know you do look really rock and roll. I mean, even the hat is like, we kind of get that on a jointy. It don't, not too jointy. That's, that's stupid looking. Okay. But she is so cute. So these are ruby red fashion dolls. These dolls are 14 inches. They are $129. So it is, it is, it's a collector's doll. It's an investment doll. It's not a doll that, you know, you're going to throw away after a while of playing with it. Um, so, you know, you know, your kids, you know, if you're able to, um, buy a doll like this, but, um, if you have, um, a child in your life um, or an adult in your life who is really into dolls and doll collecting, these are great because these are not in stores. Um, you have to buy them online from the Ruby Red. Um, I just like, I just killed Hannah. Uh, Stella, um, you have to buy them online. So it's not like it's very unlikely that they will have them. So this is a great like special gift for the doll lover. And you're just like, I wanted to get you something that, you know, I know there's so many dolls in stores right now, um, but I wanted to get you something different. And if you want an alternative to giving somebody an American Girl doll, um, these are, uh, you know, $10 more roughly than an American Girl. They're 14 inches, they're not 18 inches, but the quality is like, a bajillion times higher. Um, and so they'll have something that's special, that's unique, um, and that is just really, really um, amazing quality. So it's a really, it's um, it's a win-win. And they also have, um, they do have fashion packs on the website. So if you wanted to get them a doll and a couple of fashions, you could do that. You could get them more than one doll. You could buy all nine of them. Uh <laughs> You know, if you're a collector, um, to my collector friends out there, I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry, but I am so in love with these. So over the moon in love with them. Um, and uh, yeah, they're pretty awesome. So hope you enjoyed meeting Stella and Maya. Whoops, Stella, your hat keeps falling off. That's because you're not putting it on right. You're not supposed to be moving me around so much. I know, I know, I'm, I'm horrible. I'm, I'm a bad person. <laughs> well, no, you're not. Don't say that about yourself. Never say that about yourself. That's right. Always be kind. Maya says, never say that about yourself, mommy. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, links to everything are down below. And I hope to see you again real soon. Love you. Bye.